So, good morning all. Um, here I am on one of my favourite spots up on Lay Hill near Porlock. Um, I came here last night in the thick fog and, and drizzle uh, to uh, do a bit of a recce really, to put my trail cam out and to see what's about. And uh, lo and behold, I stumbled across a, a lovely royal stag with very, very broad antlers. And he had all his rights three aside, each side. So uh, magnificent stag, managed to get some nice atmospheric shots in the in the sort of drizzle and fog, which was quite nice. And he sort of tolerated me, kind of didn't really know I was there, but uh, knew something was there. And there's some cattle around me as well. So that sort of hid my approach, but uh, I'm just heading off now to the sort of same area um, to see if he's about really uh, creeping and uh, just set up and then, and then see what happens. There's no wind, um, it's a lot clearer today, so it might be a little bit more difficult to get in, but uh, if he's not there, I'll just enjoy the day. Um, the birds are singing uh, and the you know, sunrise is, is, is approaching. So uh, yeah, awesome. I'll catch you later. <laughs> So I uh, found the stag from, from last night um, there with uh, two or three hinds, uh, just watching it, chasing them around really, just sniffing, sniffing the ground, waiting for them to come into season. Um, they only come into season for an hour or so, so you know, the stag has to make sure that he makes the most of it um, with that limited time available. Um, so he's sniffing the ground, chasing them around, and they've just moved off off the back now. I was just watching, um, tucked in behind a silver birch tree. Um, and I'm just going to track up round and just have a little look, but uh, just mindful that I don't want them to to start, you know, penning them around and walking around and just sort of, you know, scaring them from one end to the other. It's just not what it's all about. So um, just go up there, have a look, and uh, just sit and enjoy. I've got a coffee, so uh, yeah, I'll just track on up here and and see what's about. Well, as you can see here, this is um, not the finest example of a of a wallow, but um, there's tracks all the way around. And what the uh, red deer stags like to do is to urinate 
defecate into this nice um, little boggy area and uh, then they like to thrash around in it adorn themselves with the scent and then uh, go and woo the ladies obviously not what we all find attractive but absolutely superb for the females which are drawn to them like a magnet so uh, this is not the best example but generally it's like a stream or a little puddle and a bit of mud around it they thrash and churn it up and uh, yeah there we have it a very small example of a red deer wallow I just wanted to talk to you a bit about um, camouflage clothing for for photographing wildlife you know you don't have to have the full cam outfit you can wear any sort of drab clothing so khaki olive green just something a bit drab really that doesn't stick out camouflage clothing is particularly good um, cami trousers cami top and, and gloves are vital as well just to take the shine off your hands and, and to break up your body shape really against the environment you're in so you know moorland heathland uh, woodland to sort of match that camouflage environment really your face is vitally important as well to take away your shine of your face because it naturally gives off that shine especially with sunlight on you and stuff like that you actually stick out quite quite well um, so leaf balaclavas uh, any sort of hood a hat you know anything that's going to break break your uh, human human shape really uh, against the environment you're in but uh, yeah it, it, it all helps really just to get that a little bit closer um, and also quite important really is is washing the stuff you've got particularly sensitive subjects uh, mammal species like deer and stuff which can smell really really well is is I usually put my clothing before I'm doing anything into like a bag a bin bag um, with moss and a bit of lichen a bit of bracken and stuff like that and it takes away the the smell of the fabric um, softeners and stuff like that using your washing machines at home and just gives you that little bit added extra advantage really of them picking up your scent um, and I find it works for me although it is rather musty it uh, you know it, I think it does just give you that added advantage So it's now about uh, 20 to 9 now. Um, the deer's moved off, hunkered down somewhere for the day, um, out of the prying eyes of, of us humans. So um, yeah, it's quite nice to, to share an hour really, just watching them behave really, a bit of behaviour. Didn't really get any pictures, um, a, cu a couple nice distance shots just on the horizon with a nice bit of sunlight coming in. Not particularly good, but uh, as I said before, you know, it's it's not really all about getting the picture it's more about the experience really um, and a picture obviously is a, is a massive bonus but I think people do forget you know at the expense of the you know the animal bird you're photographing that people get too carried away and you end up chasing them all over the moor and it's happened countless times up here you know you're a, a male red deer stag you're not eating properly yeah yeah testosterone's all over the shop you know you're you're in the mood for breeding you've got a load of females you know people come in from all angles photographers people walking uh, and then they bomb burst the deer um, go off in all directions and then the males there lost most of his uh, most of his hind so the harem is gone so you know i think that's terrible really it's stressful time enough so you know as a photographer myself personally you know i go in as quiet as i can um enjoy the moment get a few shots and then back away move away hopefully without disturbing them inevitably if you're creeping around sometimes you know hinds just around a, a gorse bush and you see it and it flushes and off it goes you know that's uh, you know that's the, the nature of the beast really but i try to do it you know a massive recce first to make sure that i have cleared all bases really i'm not going to start flushing them and sending them off in all directions um but uh you know for me you know leaving here without anything decent it doesn't really matter I've only got uh, a couple of hours this morning and I've got to get back to my wife and son and, and my mum and my dogs to go out for a, for a nice walk through the woods. So, um, But it's been great. I had a nice brew. I uh, got a little chockey bar. Uh, it's been cracking, really. Absolutely lovely. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.